In this video, we'll try to understand how to solve examples on Pelton wheel. A Pelton wheel has the following particulars. So diameter of the wheel is given as 2 meter. Bucket deflects the jet by 165 degree. So 5 will be equal to 180 minus 165 that is 15 degree. Supply head or net head is 330 meter. Now there are two jets. So number of jets is equal to 2 and 150 mm diameter. Coefficient of velocity is 0.98. Relative velocity of the jet is reduced by 16%. So 100 minus 16, that is 84%. So VR1 is equal to 0 0.84 times VR. And we have to calculate the speed of the turbine in RPM for maximum efficiency. So this is the important part. We have to find out the value of the speed, bucket speed or speed of the turbine for maximum efficiency condition and power lost in discharge. So at the exit, what will be the power loss? So that will depend upon the exit velocity. So we have to draw the... Uh, velocity triangles also over here to find out the required quantities. So first we'll write down the data. D is given as 2 meter. N we have to find out for maximum efficiency condition. Phi is 180 minus 165 that is 15 degree. Net head is 330 meter. Number of jets are 2. CV is equal to 0.98. K is 100 minus 16 that is 84 percent that is 0.84 and therefore VR1 is equal to 0 0.84 times VR and what will be the power lost in discharge that we have to calculate. Now jet velocity is given by CV root 2GH. So CV is 0 0.98, 2 into 9.81 into 330 in the under root sign. So we'll get jet velocity as 78.855 meter per second. Condition for maximum efficiency is U is equal to 0 0.5 times velocity, jet velocity. So 0 0.5 into 78.855. So U is 39.427 meter per second. Now u is also equal to pi dn by 60. So n will be equal to 376.5 rpm. So this is the velocity, this is the speed of the turbine for the maximum efficiency condition. Now we have to draw inlet and outlet velocity triangles to find out the various other parameters. So let us draw both these particular triangles over here. Now in case of Pelton wheel, the jet is horizontal and therefore inlet triangle is nothing but a straight line. Now as the jet is deflected by 165 degree, the, the value of phi that we'll get will be 180 minus 165 that is 15 degree. So now you can see from the inlet triangle velocity, absolute velocity of the jet is equal to velocity of the world. That is the, this is the blade speed. Relative velocity is the difference between these two that is jet velocity and blade velocity. So VR is equal to V minus U. Then absolute velocity V1 at the exit or at the discharge will be reduced because this particular is the magnitude of absolute velocity at inlet and after performing certain work on the blades the velocity has been decreased. It will have two components. One is known as velocity of flow. This is the vertical component velocity of flow and this is velocity of the world. Velocity of flow component is responsible for maintaining the flow over the blades. Velocity of world is responsible for rotation of the turbine wheel. So difference between this v1 and u1 is the is this particular that is vr1 and phi is the blade angle at the outlet or it is also known as the clearance angle this particular triangle we will consider first so this is the right angle triangle that we are considering so we can say that vf1 is equal to vr1 sin phi and this particular horizontal component is vr1 cos phi so vw1 will be equal to u1 minus vr1 cos phi so that we have written over here <coughs> So VW1 will be equal to U1 is equal to U in case of Pelton wheel. VR1 is equal to K times VR into cos phi. Then VF1 is equal to VR1 sin phi and V1 square will be equal to VF1 square plus VW1 square. So using this particular, we can easily find out the value of velocity of world at outlet. So VW1 is equal to U1 minus K into VR. VR is V minus U into cos phi. Substitute the values. So that will get the value of VW1 as 7.427 meter per second. Then VF1 is VR1 sin phi. VR1 is K times VR. So VR is V minus U. So it is K into V. Now we'll find out the value of VF1. VF1 is equal to VR1 sin phi. That is K into VR into sin phi value of vr is v minus u into so k into v minus u into sin phi substitute the value k is 0.84 v is 78.855 u is 39.427 into sin 15 so we'll get the value of vf1 as 8.571 meter per second now v1 square is equal to vf1 square plus vw1 square so that you can easily get the value of v1 now 
discharge is equal to or volumetric flow rate is equal to number of jets into area of jet into jet velocity so q is equal to 2 number of jets it is 2 area is pi by 4 d square diameter of jet is 0 0.15 and jet velocity is 11 point jet velocity is 11.341 at the exit so q is equal to 2.78 meter per second so therefore we can say that power lost at discharge will be equal to one half m dot into v1 square so m dot is rho into q that is volume into density or volumetric flow rate into density or discharge into density rho is 1000 q is 2.7855 and v1 is 11.341 square so this is the power lost in at D. so in this way we can solve the example on Pilton bill thank you very much for watching